whether you be watching this in the morning, daytime, or the nighttime, this is Mr. Fixie, and I wanted to say good morning, scientists. Uh, today, I wanted to take the day to talk about me, because uh, what else would I want to talk about on a day like today, on a wonderful uh, Tuesday? So, um, before we can get to the good, juicy stuff about yours truly, uh, first I wanted to just talk a little bit more about the stream uh, and some things that I want you to be doing every day. Um, so what you'll see is when you look at this stream, you'll see the post, uh, and these are all things that we do in class together, uh, and they're also things that you are expected to do as well. Um, so something that you make sure that you are um, that you are doing each of these things every single day. Um, that includes logging into Google Classroom, obviously. Um, filling out your planners, or if you don't have the actual Alma planner page, just make sure you're looking at the planner page and checking it, making sure you know um, what the expectation is for the day. Uh, make sure you're doing online attendance. All right, That's something that's very important uh, for each of you online, uh, and you can find your online attendance in the classwork. All right, I'll have it posted for each day as it appears. So uh, yesterday you should have filled out this one, and to, when you actually watch this video, it won't be available anymore. Uh, and tomorrow, or I should say today, right now, uh, you should be watching this video, or you should be doing this, filling out your attendance in this category here. Okay. Uh, make sure you, you you are following this link so that you go to my attendance sheet so that I know that you did it. Okay. And this attendance sheet should look a little bit different than uh, than this one that you filled out last time. And if you've done attendance, you need to go directly to your interactive journal, right? And then have this, this is your question for the day today. So I'm going to copy it right now before I flip over. And I'll pull up my online interactive journal. All right, this is the same one that I worked on yesterday. Uh, and it has my question from yesterday still written here. All right, so what you are going to do is written right here for you in the directions for the day. Or for the next day, rather. It says click on this slide on the left side, in this list on the left side, right? Then what I want you to do is to right click on it, select duplicate slide, or duplicate slide rather, and it'll create an exact copy. As you can see, I have two slides over here that look the exact same. So this new slide I made, or yeah, you know, this new slide I made, I will change because it is no longer Monday, it is now Tuesday. And it is no longer August. August is behind us now. It is September 1st, 2020. I can check the planner page here. I can find the online attendance link here, and I can do that if I forgot. Um, and I should be good to go. So then I'll change the journal question to what the journal question is today, and I'll answer this question. I'll do this first and foremost, right? What do you think you know about Mr. Fixie already? What evidence leads you to believe that? If you watched the entire video yesterday, you might have a, a little bit of an idea of uh, what you might be able to guess about me. Uh, maybe you know some things that I like or some things that I've been a part of. Um, but just make sure you're typing those things out that you know about me and then giving direct evidence, right? Because it's the evidence that we really care about. Uh, a lot of you already tried to join Flipgrid, uh, and I'm sorry that I had it messed up at first. Uh, it should work now. Uh, again, if you go to the classwork, go to resources, and do the Flipgrid link, you should be able to sign into Flipgrid and join the class. Uh, and that's something that we'll use moving down in the future. I just wanted to get it set up now. Okay, now let's get to the real juicy stuff, what you really came here for, and that's to learn more about yours truly. So here we have uh, these slides for today. Because hello. My name is Mr. Fixie. Well, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, things that are important to me and things that I like. Uh, so first of all, there's my mom and dad. Uh, I love my parents. As you can see, there's my cute dad and his baldy head and my wonderful mother sitting there next to him. Uh, and they're on their boat in their lake because they love to go boating. That's what they're all about. Uh, and you can see here, I have two older sisters who I also love. Uh, and they're fantastic women. Uh, Ariana is my uh, sister there who is blonde, and Megan is my sister there who is the brunette. Um, both wonderful women. Uh, couldn't do life without them. Yeah. 
the other thing that I have in my life that I absolutely love is my amazing fiance. Uh, she is just uh, a beautiful shine in my life. She is the most wonderful woman I've ever met, besides my mom. Uh, and I love her very, very much. So here's just two pictures of us together. Uh, one is from our engagement photos, and one is uh, at a wedding we went to this summer. So just those two pictures. Yeah, I'm just kidding. There's one more because I just love her so much. Okay, and there's one more, right? Just look at us behind the tree. We're so cute. But that's it. We'll go to the next slide now. No, I'm just kidding. Here's the last one. Just look at it. I just love her. So what I want to know from you are who are your friends and family? Right? Uh, we all have people in our lives that we're connected with. We all have people that we care about and that care about us. So I just want to know about you. For me, family is number one. I love my family more than anything else in the world. Uh, and you can see from all of these pictures uh, that I have a lot of them. Uh, not only do I have my family, which is constantly growing because my sisters are, uh, you know, one of my sisters is seriously dating a, um, uh, another guy, and my other sister is having kids. So my family is growing on my side, and now I got the chance to add my fiance's family to uh, my list of family members. So just love my family very much, um, and I'm super happy to have the people that I have. So what I want to ask is, what do you do with your family and your friends? Well, I also have two dogs. Amazing dogs. Except for they're kind of my parents' dogs now that I moved out. But they're still great. Uh, there's Corporal, he's the big black and white one, and Penny is the little one that my face is covering right now. Well, maybe I can move my face. Yeah, there we go. That's a Penny. She's a cutie. Move my face back now. Penny, you're covered. So I asked, I brought that up because I wanted to know if you have any pets. Or if you don't have pets, do you want pets? If you don't want them, why not? So where have I been? You know, I've been a lot of places to bring me here. As you can see, there's a lot of pictures from a lot of different places. The first place that I want to tell you about, excuse me, is Ireland. Uh, when I got the chance to study abroad in Ireland, uh, and while I was there, I was a teacher. I taught Irish kids, and I'll tell you what, they were amazing. Uh, super cute, super fun. Glad I got the chance to teach them. Uh, so you can see my study abroad group here in the corner. Uh, and then after studying, I actually got the chance to travel around. Uh, my family came up and joined me in Ireland, and we climbed a mountain. We did some hiking. Uh, we did a bunch of different stuff. We visited some castles. Uh, our trip was incredible. I also got a chance to go to South Carolina, uh, and we went into the Mammoth Caves. As you can see, there's us right behind my face here, climbing or going underground. Uh, we were kayaking. These two pictures up top, we kayaked underwater. Or sorry, we kayaked underground in an underground river, so that was really fun. Uh, we also got the chance to just go hiking in the mountains while we were out there. Uh, and then finally, uh, the last noteworthy place is the lake. Uh, I'm actually from the west side of Michigan. So uh, initially, I used to live right next to Lake Michigan. So my family has been boating in Lake Michigan as long as I can remember. Um, and my family has had, my extended family, has had a cottage on a small lake in Michigan. So these are all pictures from the lake. As you can see, I love to water ski. I've got a couple different pictures of me water skiing here. Um, a picture with me trying to make a pyramid. It was, it was pretty fun. Uh, and also just swimming and sailing. Um, I love anything that's on the water. So what I want to ask you is where do you like to go? Where was your favorite vacation? What to do? What do I like to do? You can see I've already talked about a bunch of different things, and you can see a bunch of pictures here of things that I like to do and things I like to do, or things I have done, rather. The first thing is play lacrosse. Uh, I've played lacrosse um, for as long as I can remember. Um, and you can see I've played in high school, and I played uh, for CMU where I graduated. Uh, and then also I got the chance to coach lacrosse um, when I was teaching in Grand Haven um, before I came to Elma. So I've loved the sport uh, for as long as I can remember, and it's just a, a fantastic activity. So how about yourselves? Do you all play any sports? Or are you involved in any other after-school activities? Maybe you don't like sports, but maybe um, there's some other activities you like to 
you like to be joined up with. Something else that I really like to do is to go hiking. Uh, I've taken a lot of different trips with family and with friends, um, and I just really enjoy hiking. I like to be outside. I like the fresh air, and I like the exercise that it gives me. Um, as you can see in these pictures, I've got a huge black backpack. Um, you can actually see right here, that's uh, my tarp that I have. Um, when I've been hiking, I really like to uh, take my campsite with me and walk around uh, and then set up camp at different designated locations. So um, it's really a good time to, uh, it's hard, it's hard work, don't get me wrong, but it's very rewarding when you carry your campsite around in your backpack. Uh, I also like to go skiing and I like to go snowboarding. You can see here we are successfully making that triangle you saw earlier, or pyramid rather. Uh, so those are a couple things I like to do outside. So I want to know what do you like to do outside? But not everything has to be outside all the time. But you can see all these are pictures of me playing games indoors. I love to play board games. Uh, you can see here, here's my family playing Settlers of Catan. I don't know if you had the chance to play that game. It's fantastic. Uh, here's two pictures of me with a finished puzzle and in the process of making a puzzle. Uh, you can see I've also got the chance to play this weird crane game. This is me right here, not a girl. This is the back of my head. I know I've got long hair. Uh, and then here's a picture of me after I uh, completed Legend of Zelda for the Nintendo Entertainment System, a classic and fantastic video game. So what do you like to do inside? Uh, what are the indoor activities that you truly enjoy? And finally, here's me. This was me in middle school. All right, pictures of me. Uh, here's a picture of me wearing a tuxedo, getting ready, to, or more a suit, getting ready to go to uh, eighth grade graduation. Here's a picture of me when I was in my sister's wedding uh, when she got married, and then a couple of just weird pictures that I found of me on Facebook. And then here's a triangle, or the pyramid, the ski pyramid. Uh, so you can see that I have been skiing ever since I've been a little kid. Uh, this is me standing on top of the pyramid when I was little, as opposed to uh, now when I'm the base of the pyramid. So. A lot of fun. And here's me now. As you can see, I've grown a lot. I've changed a lot. I am now, like I said earlier, in the base of the pyramid. There's me. Uh, I've got the chance to graduate from CMU where I met my fiance. I play lacrosse for CMU. I like to be upside down. And then now I'm also a teacher. So uh, I got the chance to go through school and come out now a teacher. And here's me last year when I first started here. As you can see, I got short hair then. Um, but this is me on the at my front door here in Elma. So <sighs> thanks for joining me for this video, for getting to know me a little bit better. Uh, what I want, as you can see, I've gone through here and asked a lot, a lot of different questions, right? Because I want to know more about you. So what I would like for you to do is to go to your Science Interactive Journal. You should have this Tuesday page all finished up, right? Because you're supposed to do this before the video. And what I want you to do is to add another page, all right? Uh, you don't need to format in any way, so you can get rid of all. Actually, um, it'd probably be your best bet to keep those because I actually want to know the questions. So from each of these subtitles, I want you to write the question. And then answer the question. I know I asked uh, a couple of questions, so I don't need super duper lengthy answers, um, but I would like at least one complete sentence for each of them. Okay? So I'll look tomorrow, or again, I'll look on Wednesday to see if you have this page finished with our journal question, and also this page that has all of the sub questions and then your answers. So, thank you for joining me for this video. This has been Mr. Fixie, delivering science to your doorstep.